basics are going to be the same. Obviously, it was a Bailey and not a Swift, so obviously the name above the window there is going to be different. <laughs> but they've got slight differences, obviously, compared to the Bailey. So, obviously, we'll go through everything, but any anytime, obviously, ask qu any questions you need. Okay. If, you, if you think it's a silly question, we've not been carrying around for a few years, you think, well, I'm not sure on that. Okay, yeah. Right. Fine, yeah. okay, so what yeah, we'll do, we're going to do circuit the outside, show you where the different points are compared to your baby, and we'll jump inside. There's definitely things slightly different in there. Aldi panel should be the same. Okay, yeah. Aldi system, yeah, Aldi heating, that should be yeah. exactly the same. Command panel, the control panel will be different because on your baby it's just an on off button and a pump switch. Yes, this yeah. one is this just slightly different, <laughs> but we'll, we'll go through that. Okay. okay, so front end, that should look pretty similar, apart from this handle here, perhaps. So you've got your stabiliser, exactly the same. Breakaway cable, exactly the same. Handbrake, you may have had a button on your baby. This yeah. one's just a push down, lift, lift up. It's okay, got yeah. assistance on the spring, so just be careful, don't get your fingers anywhere near that. It stings in the cold weather. Okay. Yeah. ATC, I would expect you would have had that as well. Yeah. Are you happy with what that does? Yeah, yeah I'm happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Good. It's a lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, well, it can be. Yeah, can be. Can and, be it's, yeah. and it's an insurance saver as well, because uh, you tell me you've got ATC, that will should, should reduce your um, premium as well. Okay. Yeah. Right, gas, this will look slightly different. Unless you had a duo control, obviously connected to your last van. No, it's be, separate. This being the special, our special, which is a Celeste, has a duo control regulator, which has got extra safety de devices on to start with. So we've got that there. That releases the gas. So that is actually, um, if you get a burst pipe, that will recognise that and, and shut off. Okay. okay? Yeah. When you start up, you need to press that to put gas into your pipe. So if you jumped inside and you, something's not working, just come and have a look. Press that, you should see a green, see that green there? Yeah. That's how you've got pressure. If it's red, you've either got an empty cylinder or you haven't pressed we'll press that button. That okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. The other safety device is this one here. So you can see that there, crash sensor. So with that one, obviously that will also shut the gas off if you have a crash, or sometimes it may operate if you go over a road dump. So you go onto site and you go bang over, the, over a road dump, as you, as you normally do with, it's difficult to get, driving caravans over them, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you don't realise exactly where you are until you hit it. That could pop out. So it won't pop out, it, all it is is a little tiny uh, ball bearing in there, and obviously that jumps, that shuts the gas off. Okay. So to reset it, so again, if you're inside and you can't get gas, to reset it, just get a biro, pen, whatever, push and hold that for three seconds and reset it. Okay, yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. So what you've also got, dual control. So what you can do, you can have a pipe on the side connected to your gas, this is the other pipe. Again, you've got the same device on there. Obviously, this is only going to be operating on propane. So if you oper operate on butane, you won't be able to use this pipe. Okay, so if yeah. you've got the blue bottle or the, or the red we've got, bottle. We've got the red ones. Yeah, that's fine. So that'll, that will fit to that. You can have, if you're on a site or on a rally where you haven't got electric and use a lot of gas, you can have both connected, both switched on. You start using your main one first. So that arrow is pointing to, the, to our main one. Yeah. Or if that's the main one, you turn, turn the arrow to point that way. Okay, what it will do, you've got both both turned on, so you use this, use whichever one first, that uses that, that will turn red, but it will start drawing gas from the other one, as long as it's open, okay? Yeah. So you won't have a, an interruption of gas. So you, overnight, you, your gas runs out, yeah. your heating won't go off, okay? Yeah. Unless that one's empty as well. Okay. So that's what you've got to be careful of. So if you've got both running, you've got, this is that one, is the one you will be using, that's your reserve. Every now and again, which you likely to do is, in, in and out your gas lock every now and again just check see if it's still green if it's gone to red you're gonna to need to turn it across to the other one even though it's still using it just to for you to recognize that this one is now empty you need to turn it and obviously change change it okay but we'll stick it on there if you're only going to use the one side just make sure the blank cap is on okay if yeah. you have if you're not connected to another gas bottle or you can just use it as I've just got the one open I've, once that's empty I'll turn that off turn it across the other side open that one up Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to disconnect and connect if you didn't want to. Okay? Yeah. Alright, inside here, all we've got is your step. So it comes with a plastic step. One of the wheel locks. So that's one, uh, the other one is actually under the bed. Okay? Uh, yeah. Right, happy with the gas locker? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, happy good. Yeah. Right, down this side, what have we got? This vent looks exactly the same as your, should look exactly the same as your last van. So that's yeah. your vent for your boiler. Okay, water yeah. in, will look slightly different. You've probably got a whale connection on your last one. Yeah, we did, yeah. This one is a Truma. You just pull back on that trigger to release it. Okay, it's just clicked in. Okay. Right. The pipe on your last one would have been a pump on the end. This has got the pump on board. Okay? Okay, yeah. So, pipe. It's just got a filter, a debris filter on the end of it. Just make sure you straighten it out before you put it in the ac roll. It's got a tendency to want to do that. 
So that's all it's going to do is suck the air out the top of the uh, acarol and not the water. So make sure you straight it out and also slot it in. Click it in. Okay, yeah. Ready to go. Okay. Battery, you've got your battery fitted. 240 connection. Obviously, you always connect to your, to your van first, fully unravel the cable, connect to your bollard. Don't do it the other way around. Connect to bollard, cable across wet grass, you've got yeah. power already there, so you go in. Obviously, a bit of a risk of uh, electri electrocution, so obviously, you don't want that. 240, obviously, you've also got, you can see behind there, is your um, motor mover key switch, and oh, it disappears. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's going to be one end there, isn't it? Right, and then we've also got your external aerial point, you can see that there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if, you, if you're on a site that's got a connection to the, uh, you might have a super pitch or whatever, you can connect direct to an aerial point on the, on the pitch, on the, on the uh, ballard. If you're in an area that's got a bad signal, some sites have their own aerial with a booster on it. You can plug direct in. If your aerial's not doing any good, yeah. you could actually you connect direct to the, obviously as long as that site's got that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy with that bit? That's fine, yeah. Good. You had, you had a motor we were running last one? We did, yeah. yeah. Was it an auto? Auto power touch or? It was, but it broke. So oh, we no. had it swapped to a, a manual, so we used to just crank right. it over. Yeah. So it's, you've had an auto before, have you? But when we bought it, it was auto, but, but it didn't, didn't work. Right, okay. So we've had... if, you, if you want to, I'll, I'll run through that. But obviously, it's different getting it on compared to the spanner. Yeah. But it's obviously all on buttons compared to the spanner getting on. So I'll show you that, show you that afterwards. Okay. Fuss tank. So this toilet should look pretty, pretty similar. Fuss tank. Oop, waste tank. Exactly the same. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wheeled, wheeled uh, waste cassette with a handle. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the drain down for your... Fush tank there, so that oh, sits on the little shelf there. Make sure you do drain that down for winter. You do not want any water kept in there or the pump that flushes it. So the best thing to empty that is flush it out using the flush pump, obviously into there or into another container if you can collect it. Just drain the last little bit of that pipe. Okay, okay. The, the operation of the pump, so as, as soon as there's nothing coming out into the bowl as such, that means that you've got the water out the pump. Yeah. Any water held in that pump freezes, yeah. you're in trouble. Okay, yeah. waste water outlet, that should look pretty similar. What you've had before, just mind yourself on these handles. In here, you've got the laser wire handle for the um, uh, legs. Cable, you've also got a um, super pitch type uh, water connection. So you can go direct from your bollard to your, to your van. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so instead of using an Acrol, just be careful how you use that. Obviously, water, is, water pressure can vary on a lot of sites. Some could be pretty poor, <laughs> others could be quite powerful. Obviously, you've just got to be careful and how much pressure you're putting into your van, because if, if I don't if you know, caravan are push fit pipes. Yeah. You over pressure with domestic style pressure coming into your van, it may push them apart. So be very careful how you use it. If you're going away, you're going away for the day out, out of your van, probably best to turn the tap off because you don't want to come back to a van that might have water full of you know, yeah. a van yeah, full of water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you know just cautious things like that. When, when you're in it obviously you're, you're okay. There, there's your other wheel lock, there's your jack, even though you haven't got your jack and punch from what I can see. Okay, and then spare wheel. This you may you would definitely want to have on the back of your bailey. These are fixings ready to receive a bike rack if you decide to do that. Okay? Yeah. Okay, come around this side, back side of the Next thing we come to is your Wheel that's a conversation of about the wheel that's. I've got my torque spanner there to remind me, as well I forget. It's there, so I'm going to check your wheel that's before you leave. Obviously, very important this. So you need to check these regularly. Yeah. Okay. And you barely you would have had that stupid little uh, spanner thing. Yeah, yeah. And trying to do that, oh, especially on a, uh, a twin axle would have been a long. But this one's got your only bolts. It's got the the setting for your alloy uh, for the alloys. It's 130 newton meters. It does tell you the steel setting, but alloy is the one you want. Okay, yeah. if you've got a torque spanner, it's 130 Newton meters. Okay, yeah. Tire pressure also very important, so it's 30, 30 psi. Check them as well as your wheel nuts at the same time, and then you know you're safe. Okay, yeah, yeah. 240 outlet, so you'll have something similar to that on your on your baby. And what you wouldn't have had on your baby is a TV yeah. bracket for inside your awning. So you've got your aerial point there. You've also got your you've got a 12 volt TV or 240 outlet. Okay, so that bracket there will fit inside as well. So if you've got your TV on the outside here, you can take it in and put it inside. Yeah. If you wanted to do that way. Or well, some people, they have like 100 TVs all dotted around the place. Gas barbecue. 
So I guess barbecue outlet, again, you should have had that on your bailey. And obviously access, obviously not a huge amount of access, so you've got to be careful with cables and stuff like that. You've got the uh, alarm box, which you probably may not have had unless you had it retrofitted. No, I've never had an uh, alarm box. Oh, so this one is uh, worked off a of fob. It's powered off the laser battery. If the laser battery is not connected, it's got its own internal battery. Okay, yeah. Okay, that will last on standby for two or three months. If it's, dra if it's drained down, as soon as you plug electric back into it, it will recharge it. It's got a solar panel on it. Yeah, it's got a solar panel as well, yeah. Solar yeah, but if you imagine someone removing the, um, your laser battery, or you remove the laser battery for whatever reason to charge it or do whatever. And then keys, just leave the door shut for just a bit, that bit longer. Right, key, one key does all. So one on spare, alarm fob. So we've got torch, torch there. Second button down is the yeah. alarm. One beep on, yeah. press it again. Two beeps off. Okay, yeah. So PIR sensor, so it sends move, someone moving around inside, or tilt sensor, so if someone's winding it up to put it on the back of their car, that, as long as it's set, it will trigger that off. Okay, what it will also do on this model, if you subscribe to Tracker, by setting the alarm, it will set your tracker. Okay, yeah. so if someone starts to move your van, mm. it will then ping through, um, as long, obviously as long as you subscribe to it, to say your van's moving, then you can get the, whoever's involved, just go try and get it back. Okay, obviously yeah. police. Third button down, awning light. So with this awning light, you can switch it on and off in four different ways, if you want to. <laughs> that, there's a button in there, there's a button on your control panel and, and the app as well. There's also an, uh, a button you can switch on and off of the app. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then yeah. at the bottom, program button, you can, that's to program the alarm if you need okay. to. Okay. Right. Would you like to go inside now? Because it's a lot more 